parasite drag, which is the sum of skin friction, form and interference drags, is so called because it is not directly associated with the generation of lift. However, although the connection is not direct, parasite drag does in reality vary with lift. As the CL increases with higher angles of attack, the parasite area increases with the greater frontal area presented to the relative airflow. Graphically, the increase of drag against lift can be shown as on the screen, with parasite drag in blue and induced or lift-dependent drag in red. However, the part of parasite drag above the minimum value occurring at zero lift is normally included with the induced drag coefficient, as shown in this second graph, where the parasite drag coefficient remains constant at its minimum against the increase in CL. Parasite drag is unaffected by the magnitude of lift, but varies with dynamic pressure and area. If all other factors are held constant, it changes significantly with frontal area. For example, lowering the gear and flaps can increase the parasite area by up to 80%. So at any given IAS, the parasite drag would increase by the same proportion. If altitude is changed, but at a constant IAS, the parasite drag would not change because of the altitude change, but would change in direct proportion to the parasite area during configuration change, as it is dependent on dynamic pressure. The effect of speed alone is the most important effect. If all other factors remain constant, doubling the speed will give four times the dynamic pressure, in accordance with the formulae for lift and drag being based on speed squared, and hence four times the parasite drag. By the same token, halving the speed will give one quarter of the drag. This variation of parasite drag shows that it will be of greatest importance at high IASs and of least significance at low speeds. For example, an aircraft at a speed just above the stall could be generating parasite drag, which is only 25% of its total drag. At the other end of the scale, literally, at its maximum level flight speed, the parasite drag could comprise almost 100% of the total drag. This predominance of parasite drag at high speed reinforces the need for clean airframe design and good streamlining for the best high-speed performance. This consideration of variations in parasite drag leads to an examination in the next lesson of the combination of parasite and induced drag into total drag and its significant values.